Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Action Comics issue 975. Before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know episode 180 something. Uh, <laughs> It's annotated, the number, uh, and that'll be annotated on Friday. But the exclusive comics will be in the description below if you want to know what the exclusive comics are. But let's start talking about Action Comics, issue 975. Now, of course, I wanted to review this on Wednesday, the day it came out, because this was a huge issue. So there will be spoilers in this review, so if you don't want to know who Clark Kent is, come back after you read the issue, because I'm going to go in depth with my thoughts of the issue. So, uh, cool cover here. I got, I think I got the regular cover, uh, for this one. Uh, I like that DC does the variants, uh, for the same price though, so you can always get a choice of which one you want. So, cool cover. You have, uh, the Superman logo in the background, and then Clark Kent here. So, what is going on? Artwork, I'm still not a huge fan of this style. Uh, very heavy inks, and, I didn't really like uh, the facial features for uh, for Lois. I, I felt like she didn't really look like Lois. I just don't really love the style. Again, it's very heavy inking. Uh, I don't hate it. Didn't really get me too distracted in the story, but it's just not my particular style for the book. But the secondary story, we had some really good artwork here. I don't know if it was the same artist or not. If it was, it definitely has that kind of heavy inks, but it worked for uh, that character. And I loved how they kind of meshed together, uh, like Superman the Animated Series stuff. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, yeah, like over here, I liked how they meshed those different um, looking art styles. So I will say the artwork was better for me in the second half than the first half. There are two stories, though, and I, they do mention that in the beginning here, that you do have the regular issue and then the bonus story. And it's only three nine nine, so you're getting a lot for your, for your buck. <laughs> you're getting a lot of story here. But let's see what's going on with the story itself. So like I said, there's two stories. And it's Lois and Clark on the hunt to try to figure out who is Clark Kent and where their son is. And I love the reveal of how they reveal, again, spoiler alert here, that Mr. Uh, Mr. Mixie Pitalik got it now. I never could say his name, but because of the Supergirl episode, they had to say it so many times. I think I've got it. Uh, so... I liked how they revealed him as being Clark Kent. Is it obvious? Yeah, honestly, I didn't think about it because I just, I don't care about the character too much, but I think it's a cool way to reveal him. And I like that they played with this fun side, but the events that have gone through him and, and what he's gone through uh, has changed him as a character. I thought that was really interesting. And then by the end, you have a really cool cliffhanger where Mr. Um, Mixie Pitalik is a little jealous and he said why didn't Superman care about me why do they care about his son I don't get this so he makes Lois forget that John exists now we don't know if Clark will forget maybe because he's Kryptonians taking him a little longer but Clark still remembers by the end of the issue so upping the ante even more now this even though I like the art for the secondary story the secondary story is where the the issue kind of goes down for me not bad at all but I do think that the first story was better, um, but for a secondary story, it wasn't too bad. It just was very exposition heavy of like, this is what I did during the time of DC Rebirth and New 52. And I like John and Mr. Um, Mixie Pitalik's um, interaction with each other. I thought that was cool, but there's a lot of explaining and very heavy dialogue just to have heavy dialogue. A uh, good example of that, like over here, it's just him explaining stuff. This is what I did, and this is why I don't like Superman. And John, we're friends, but we're not. Uh, so there's interesting interaction there, but it does get a little bit bogged down as you read the issue. You're like, okay, I get the point. Even though you are interested in the mystery, I, I kind of wish they presented it in a different way. Overall, I thought this is an extremely solid issue, and if you're not following Superman Reborn, I've been pretty impressed with this story arc. Like, I'm not a Superman, a hardcore Superman fan, uh, but I do like the character, and I think this rejuvenates the character and is making for some really interesting story where you're getting excited for every issue and, and wanting to see what happens next. I feel like they give just enough in every issue, even it, even though in both, the, uh, both stories, uh, part one and part two, I haven't liked the art style. 
Hopefully that'll change with part three. But Action Comics issue 975 gets a solid four stars from me. Definitely pick this up. I think hardcore Superman fans will love this. And even if you're not a hardcore Superman fan, I think you're going to like the pacing of the story and just how much they give you. I feel like they give you just enough in every issue where you're like, okay, I'm very interested in the next one. And thank God we don't have to wait too long. It's only a week where we have to wait for the next part, which is nice too. So I gave Action Comics issue 975 four stars. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to check my Facebook page. Uh, don't forget to check out my Twitter. And also my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. All the links for that are in the description below. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. Bye.